Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here he is. The young man himself. Driving a 71 Roadrunner. Man, it did a great job on this car. Whoever had it. Woo! Now, he wasn't even going that fast, but it just looks fast. It's red. He's going to spin around down there. Ready? I'm ready, Freddy. Hello, everybody. I'm Christopher. The guy behind the camera is always Jake the Snake, and this is Fast Lane Classic Cars. Jake, take it away. Oh, my lord. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher, the guy behind the camera is Jake the Snake, and this is Fast Lane Classic Cars. Jake, tell them some things. Let me tell them some things. We're 15 minutes outside St. Louis to the west of St. Charles, Missouri. I'm going to put the phone number above Chris's head. Look, there it is. Remember, write it down. It costs about this Roadrunner, the other 150 or so cars we have at any given time, and also, like and subscribe because it helps us help you, help us help you. When you subscribe, hit the bell because then you get notified when we make cool stuff like this. And also, if you want full photo sets of these cars, interior, exterior, engine bay, undercarriage, Go to our website, www.fastlanecars.com. You can see it all there, but for now, Chris, tell us about this Roadrunner. Well, it's 1971 Roadrunner in beautiful red. It's a 383 with a four-speed pistol grip, four-speed. Um, it's got a few uh, Roadrunner badges on here, just a few. Here on the stickers back here in the very front. Interior is just like any other Plymouth, amazing. I'm always blown away by these things. They look so good on the inside. Big doors, big wang. I know how much you love wangs. I do love a big wang on the car. <laughs> yes, you do. Even a keychain. Oh, it's look at that. It's got a little guy, too. Yeah. Keychain with the little Roadrunner. Yeah, I that. assume you already got B-roll of the old back end, but this is just a, this is one of the first cars I, besides the 69 Camaro that was next door, our other neighbor had one of these Roadrunners. It was in blue. God, it was cool. Because when it started off, you're like, what the heck is that noise? It's this big daddy right here. Big car, big chrome bumpers. Red, uh, huge bumpers. The front end on the, this generation Roadrunner has a chrome bumper that goes all the way around even the top part of the bumper. It kind of surrounds something. <laughs> kind of surrounds the headlights in chrome. It does. It's, it's really very nice. cool. I like it. And I like 71 because the years I was born. I don't really remember it, but I was there. Anyway, oh, well, we uh, also. Chrome door mirrors. Oh my God. We found out about this option during the Black Duster video. That's right. And now we have another car with them. Two of them. Oh, it's got RPMs. Oh, it's got everything. See, this is the deluxe one. Oh, I like it. This is a great car, great restoration. Why don't we just take it for a little spin, Mr. Jake? Let's do it. Let's go. And we're doing it live. And we're doing it live, folks. Is that air grabber hood not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your you see entire how life? It crept up. It was like, I know. yeah. It's vacuum operated, which is very nice. Yeah. Oh, do we need gas? Yes, we do. I, I think we do, don't you? It's yeah, a big we'll lot. put a couple gallons in it. Yeah. Let's go get gas, and let's, then we'll go. Let's get gas, folks. Folksy folks. Roadrunners are not uh, the most fuel economical vehicles. This, this is not an Escort. This is not a Ford Escort, no. This is not a Prelude. So we'll put a couple gallons of gas in it and then we'll be off. Yeah, I just don't think that that's enough because uh, well, I had a fun experience Saturday, Jake. I took out the old hot rod that's 1920. <laughs> I ran, ran out, out of gas, gas oh, right there. Goodness. We laughed so hard. That's why we checked the gauges and luckily this one works. Yes, and I love it. All right, this is the perfect time for a transition wipe. All right. Now with more fossil fuels. And yes, the gauge did move. Which means it works. We're about a quarter tank now. It was empty. We were on Empty, nothing. empty when we were trying we to go for We were on forth. nothing. And look, 
We have a little light here the to signify light. that we're in reverse. I love that about Mopars. You know, they just have a lot of neat, cool stuff. They do have a lot of neat, cool stuff. And they're pretty. Oh, is that his? God, I'd hate to hit that Cadillac. <laughs> yeah, Rob's Escalade's a little bit in the way. Oh, you got it fine. You're good. Damn You're it. good. You're good. I really wanted to hit it. Pretty good turning radius. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> pretty good turning radius for the, the Roadrunner here. Not bad. We also oh, have power steering. a Ray Didio down. Power steering. Yeah, it does. We have a Ray Didio down steering. here. You got your coolant gauges and stuff. You do have an RPM gauge right there. Right there. And then these two are your floor vents. I have them open. Thank you. It's very cool today. God, it's, it's beautiful, like, isn't Compared it? to what it's been recently, it's like 80 degrees right now. It's so gorgeous. It's wonderful. I'm gonna let some air in. Lovely Hurst shifter down here, as you can see. Pistol grip. Mm -hmm. And you got the wood grain here on the console. Very Mopar. Wood Very grain here on the clarity. dash in the Roadrunner logo. Very cool. And that air grabber hood is just awesome. Grabbing air. Gotta love a little air grabbing. Sounds good. It's smooth. It is smooth as silk. It's a really great driving car so far. The hill's always the first test. Yeah, we go straight up a very steep hill right after we leave. And if, you know, right after a cold start, if your car can make it up that without popping and banging, you know it's minty fresh. Extra primo good, sir. I'm gonna hold your phone and slide all over the place. Thank you, that's so nice of you. Oh, feel it. 383, so right? Nice. Yeah, 383. In four barrel, four speed. Oh wow, a lot of pep. A lot of pep. One oh, barrel for nice. each speed. Hey, we got the horn. <laughs> very nice. nice. Beep, beep. beep, beep. You gotta love that. You do. And uh, there's the, here, let me zoom. Zoom. The switch for the air grabber hood is right there. Maybe you can see it. So you can actually close it. It's way under the steering column. Uh, I'm gonna leave it open. That's awesome. Yeah. It's way down here. Oh, neat. But uh, I'll leave it open. It is vacuum operated, but you can close it if you want to close. I like it. Nice headliner. Very nice. It's not droopy. There's no holes. There's These no aren't stains. These are droopy either, and I know how much you love them. I know. I hate when sun visors droop. It's one of the most annoying things about old parts. These are good though. And you got the, the uh, shoulder belts up here, and you have the dash. Perfect condition. Great horn. Very great horn. Great steering wheel as well. It is. And uh, you do have real back seats for real folks. For real people, if you want them. Also in great condition. The deck lid back there is in good condition. We have a dome light. And of course, chrome door mirrors. Lovely. Oh, oh, there it is. Here's the ashtray. And this is a cigarette lighter in case you want to take up smoking. But don't smoke. It's smoke tires, not cigarettes. And this car can smoke tires. Oh, it can. Absolutely, I can. I love. I can't get over the chrome door mirrors. I think that's the coolest thing ever. It is. Well, the fact that we got two of them is also very cool too. Yeah, we do have all three mirrors, rear view and both sides. That's a luxury option back in 1971. Darn right. And we got hood pins. Oh, we do because have it's a race pins. car. It is a race car. We're better than you, Jeep. You still have a. Uh, a hood latch on the inside, a release, and a latch on the outside, but you have pins just in case. Just in case. Both of those fail. And they just look cool, too. Oh, they do. It's a pretty car. I love the red. Are you kidding me? Oh, the red's good. The red is good stuff. We're going to let Old Dominion go ahead. Yep. And then we can do a little bit of a bean test, because we're here at our stop sign. We'll see about it. Second gear action. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This thing really He's wakes cooking. up. Hey, look what that He's is. He's cooking. Oh, we're going to go to the next one. That's our guys. That's our uh, 74 Challenger right there. Mark's got a customer driving it. A rather short customer. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, well, this is perfect. I I'll, just, so. I'll go out that gate down there to do the flybys. I love it. And I this can turn is... around in the actual parking lot. Well, that would be a good thing, too. You should probably you, do that every time now. There's always a problem when you do that, I swear. So funny. All right. All right, so you're going to go out here, so I'm going to stop here. That'll work. All right. Uh, this is a runner. It's this a is runner, a running right. some bitch. It is. 
That's what the kids say. With that air grabber, it's got plenty of air. It does. It's got air for days. Do you have my phone? Yes, it's right here. Okay. You ready to do flybys? Yeah, let's do it, man. Let's get let's get the gumball. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here he is. The young man himself. Driving a 71 Roadrunner. Man, it did a great job on this car. Whoever had it. St. Charles County Sheriff's Department's gonna take a look and see what we're doing. And that's fine by us. Here comes the old 71. She's a beaut. She does have sheer grip, which is positive traction in Plymouth. Woo! Now, he wasn't even going that fast, but it just looks fast. It's red. He's going to spin around down there. I think it's 355 rear gears. Yeah, it is. Sure grip. You've got to love positive traction. He's turning around. He's got a great turning radius. I was kind of shocked. And there's a the Vespa. He's got a cigar. He's having a good old time. <laughs> that was freaking funny. Here he comes. Give us a beep of the horn, man. Give us a beep of the horn. Boy. You know, that's a cool looking car. Damn. You can kind of tell I like my job. Oh. So what'd you think? I don't know if you noticed, but I would have done better flybys if there wasn't a sheriff that just pulled into the parking lot. Before. And he was watching us. And he was watching us. Now. Uh, to make sure we were, yeah, I, did, I was safe. You were, but it sounded great. It, it, it looked like you were going pretty quick. It does sound very good from the outside. I was definitely going over the speed limit. I just think he enjoyed oh. watching too, so. Oh, I think he did. Yeah, I didn't you see, see the, the side of the air grabber. It's got the artwork on it. I, I really do like this car. I'm uh, kind of surprised it drives nice. It drives Looks fantastic. buttery smooth from you the like driver's it? seat. The shifter's nice, the steering's nice, the power steering is great. The brakes work good, and that air with the air vents. You don't need AC. I noticed you hit the brakes pretty good up there, and they worked. Yeah, I they worked great. Like, Woo, he hit, he hit the brakes pretty quick. Well, I wanted to get in the parking lot without having to go all the way down the street and turn around again. Amen. But yeah, it worked great. And that was the first time I really laid on him, and I wasn't expecting much, but yeah, that was good. Yeah, right. no crazy smoke coming out of the back. It just Nothing. It is a good car. It's wanting to go, so. You ready to go back? I think so. Let's do it.